guys, I'm Erin, I'm from Scotland, and I'm studying as an exchange student in the US for a year, and this is my ENME 351 final project. As you know, in Scotland, unlike the US, we get a hell of a lot of rain. And for all you science nerds out there, precipitation. So basically what happens in Scotland is we have these things called gutters which sit on the side of the house and collect rain. They flow into a tank, a water tank, and they collect rainwater. You usually have one full tank and then an overflow tank because we have so much water. But anyway, I basically designed my final project on a fully moving autonomous gutter system. Come on, see. So basically, here's my whole gutter system. We have a laptop, we have two Arduinos, we have some wires, we have a breadboard, we have a potentiometer, we have an LED, a water sensor and a motor. And as you can see, some fairly interesting engineering techniques, i.e. sellotape and cardboard. <laughs> so, as you can see, the water will flow down this gutter system, which has been cleverly wrapped in Ziploc bags, as we do not want water in electronics. The water will then flow into the first tank, which we can see there is a water sensor. As the water rises, the voltage will increase. Because of this voltage increasing, the degrees of the motor will increase as the voltage increases. Not only this, but in process, from one of my Arduinos, we are computing through processing, which is going to flash images of one quarter full, half full, three quarters full, and full tank. The other Arduino is controlling the LED, which will say there's light drizzle, there's some rain, there's heavy rain, and the tank's full. Basically, what happens when the tank's full is this image will just keep flashing so that you'll know that you need to empty the tank because you're into the overflow tank. Um, now I'm going to show you it fully working. So here we are, we're going to use it with water from my Maryland bottle and we're going to basically fill the gutter with water which would be the rain, here's tank 1, hopefully the motor will turn 180 degrees covering tank 1 and going into the overflow tank. From processing there will be quarter tank full, half tank full, a three quarters tank full and full tank must empty and on your LED you will be able to see drizzle, rain, heavy rain and tank full must empty. So. Here we go. Got to be very careful. Three quarters fill. Fill. And that's the overflow tank using. Now for instances, you can obviously see that the tank isn't full. However, the water sensor that we are using is very, very, very sensitive and so little amounts of water will trigger it to go up by about 50 volts so you have to be really careful and the programming took a lot of time to be able to get the voltages and to be able to get different levels um yeah in my video i hope you enjoyed it i really enjoyed making my project as much as it was a hassle um i'm really um very thankful for my cameraman uh, andrew who filmed it for me and <laughs> for helping me deal with the amount of water spills that I had throughout my project. Um, just be thankful it wasn't raining men. Bye guys! <laughs> I'm really sorry. Thanks. The tank is now three quarters full. And the tank is now full. Shoot, 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 shoot.